Hey guys, I want to share this with you. After this experience with Matt Slick, I talked about in another video earlier how he came onto the website and we chatted for a while. And so I'm doing more research on him. And I, I found articles where people were exposing him and talking about his Calvinism. And this guy says, Matt Slick, the owner of Karm, is not a Christian. And you know what? I think that I've got to agree. He asked me, Matt asked me that too, he said, do you think, since I'm teaching doctrines of devils, since I'm a Calvinist, am I not a Christian? And I was like, well, you know, I don't know. Uh, you know, I hope that you're saved, but, um, you know, I probably should have just said, no, you're probably not saved, <laughs> but I don't know. Uh, but I'm more confident that he's not now. I, after I came across this video where he's debating Kent Hovind, which I thought would be really interesting, I guess that Matt is willing to debate anybody so if anybody's interested in debating a Calvinist you can talk to him you know Kent Hovind loves to debate people too so it makes sense that they've debated each other but you know that's not really something I'm interested in I'll just make videos refuting Calvinism and exposing Matt Slick and you know he said he's concerned about me causing division in the body of Christ because I said that Calvinism is doctrines of devils well um you know, that's why I started the YouTube ministry and the website. Uh, a big part of it was to expose false teachers and to refute false doctrines. And Calvinism definitely is false. I've done enough studying of it to know that, you know, a babe in Christ can refute Calvinism, even though as foolish as Kent Hovind is. And I've said that he teaches easy believism, you know, hyper grace and futurism and, and all kinds of stuff that's wrong. But still, he corners matt on his calvinism easily and says you know if god predetermined everything you know why are we having this debate why do you preach the gospel to people if only the elect uh you know are saved and so and there's different levels of calvinists you know some think that every little thing that we do is predetermined so it wouldn't make any sense you know he's saying you know he's concerned about me sinning because i'm saying that calvinism is a doctrine of the devil and and so if Calvinism is true, and if he thinks that everything is predetermined, then God's making me do it. So it, it makes absolutely no sense. You know, a babe in Christ, anybody can know that God, that the Calvinist, the God of Calvinism is not the God of the Bible. And Calvinism is not what the Bible teaches. Jesus died for the sins of all, and whoever repents and believes in him can be saved. And, you know... Regeneration comes after faith. Faith comes before regeneration. So, anyways, yeah, I'm willing to say that Matt Slick is not saved. And I just want to share this video with you if you want to check it out for yourself. I guess it's like three hours long. I'm just looking at the beginning of it. It's Calvinism with Matt Slick and Kent Hovind slash other topics. And, and now I can see Matt Slick on camera his his facial reactions and these little things that he's saying like you know I studied the Greek for four years and how foolish is it to talk to somebody who's a KJV onlyist I mean how well does he know the, the KJV onlyist like he knows better like uh, he talked to me he talked to Kent Hovind and he's trying to talk about the Greek and everything else he knows that we don't want anything to do with any of that stuff we just stick to the King James Bible but it's like he's going to try to like get us off track or something like how foolish is this man very very foolish very stubborn very arrogant um you know he just seems like and he's saying the same verses and stuff the same arguments that he said to Kent that he's saying to me like he's reading it off a script like like he's got the special formula that like nobody can refute or something but it it's not true but I don't know. I mean, he's been he's had his own website for like years. I'm guessing that he has quite a few followers. He has his own discussion board and stuff, and he probably is pretty got a bloated ego and um, unbelievable. Like, and Calvinists can get under my skin, and I've had debates with them. All of them that have been into it for a while are pretty stubborn, and you know, I feel like. I'm in Kent Hovind's shoes when I'm listening to this. Like, some of the ways that he's reacting or the things that he's saying is kind of like the same way that I felt. Like, you just can't get it through to a Calvinist. And it's like, this is a pointless discussion. I told Matt, you know, I don't need to waste your time. You're not going to convert me to your position, and I don't expect that I'm going to convert you. 
okay, you've studied it for long enough, I've studied it for long enough, and you know all the arguments, I know all the arguments, and we're just going to walk around in circles. But no, he's dead set on thinking that somehow he's going to change somebody or whatever. Uh, so I don't know. But I will say that uh, he does, he shows signs of, you know, just being very egotistical. And, you know, I don't think that he listens to people. I don't think that, you know, he demanded that, like, you know, I understand what he's saying and I read everything that he says, but I felt like he wasn't really reading my responses. I mean, he obviously wasn't. Um, so, for instance, you know, when he mentioned 1 Samuel chapter 3, verse 13 and 14, and I gave him my opinion on it, and then I told him what examining Calvinism said, and he's like, well, you're just looking at examining Calvinism. And no, I gave you my opinion on it first, bud. Apparently, you're not reading it and paying attention. So, whatever. Uh, this guy is just very contentious, and, uh, you know, we all are. And, and all should be in some ways, I guess. You know, yes, you need to defend the faith and stuff, but, like, it's, like, overly contentious, okay? Like, he came right into my chat room, like, are you talking bad about Calvinists? I'm a Calvinist. You think I'm not saved? Like, blah, blah, blah. Let's argue about this. It's like, whoa. Man, uh, don't know where you're going to try where you think you're getting with this, but whatever. Just wanted to share this video, check it out if you got the time, if you're interested in this. Matt Slick and Kent Hovind. God bless.